Hello. Just like in a previous video, we discussed that in people with stroke, a simple disposable cup can be really beneficial in grading the force with which you hold or release an object to not adding too much squeeze force or dropping objects accidentally. Today, we are going to take the same activity more proximally, that is towards the shoulder and the elbow. We are going to practice this activity using a simple water bottle. The significance here is the bottle needs to be half filled initially. Why? Because if it's an empty bottle, you're more likely to knock it over. And if it's a full bottle, it will become too heavy for a person to move. So it's better that the bottle is just half filled initially. While doing this activity, it is very important that the person is well stabilized. So if you are stable on a stool, it's good. If not, you can take a chair. If you have a tendency to move forward while performing the movements, you can easily strap your shoulders in a cross pattern to stabilize your body against the chair or another person can assist you in stabilizing the weak shoulder. The movements need to be started on the same side of the weak hand so that it's easier to begin with. Our first step here is going to be simply reaching to the level of the bottle and moving your hand back. The benefit of strapping over here is going to be that the body will not move sideways in order to reach because there is a tendency to lift the arm sideways rather than forwards. Doing the step one. Once you can reach the bottle, step two is going to be reaching on either side of the bottle. Aim for the left side and aim for the right side. Once you have done this, now sets in step three. Where you reach on the left side of the bottle, in my case, because I'm using the right hand as the weak hand, trying to shift the bottle outwards. If you're able to achieve this without dropping the bottle, Try to move your hand outward and try to move the bottle inwards. Now this movement is going to be more difficult because while moving the bottle in, there will be a tendency for your elbow to flex or bend. To simplify this activity, you can start with keeping the bottle really close to the body so that the tightness has less chance of setting in and later on you can increase the distance. Keeping the bottle close to the body also has a benefit that you can exclusively perform elbow movements over here. Once the movements become good with the side of the weakness, try to move it close to the midline. Start with the same movement, trying to reach for the bottle in the midline. Try to relax your shoulder as much as possible. See, if I try to movement, do the movement first, there is an elevation of the shoulder. But if I try to relax it, I will only reach for the bottle. And both my shoulders are symmetrical. In the midline position, try to move the bottle forward in as straight a path as possible. And that is why I have kept three surfaces over here. Orange, red and blue. I've created a sort of red path in the middle so that... I know that my bottle only has to move in the red area, not the blue or the orange area. The most difficult movement that is going to be is trying to move the bottle across the midline because this is one movement that is nearly absent or is very hard to practice because either the elbow will bend or the shoulder tends to move up sideways. So keep the bottle in the center. Once you have practiced the center based movements, Try to shift the bottle further across the midline. Increase the distance so that now it's an exclusive shoulder movement and the bottle does not topple over from the side. Now my body has moved to a sideways plane. So my hand will come up sideways and then I try to move the bottle forward and backward which helps in practicing my movements of extension. First, you can try to do it more diagonally and later on you can move to the side of the table.
The final movement to be practiced is the rotations of the arm. The hand is usually inwardly rotated and it is difficult to move it outwards. So in order to practice this movement, the simplest way to do is dropping the bottle here and trying to drop the bottle outwards. This very simple movement will ensure that your arm also rotates simultaneously. And if you try to keep the bottle close, it turns out to be the movement of the elbow. As I always say, simple household items are really beneficial in doing the rehabilitation at home. They provide you with the target, we call it target-based therapy, task-specific training so you know what you are aiming at, what you want to achieve. And if you know that goal in your head, it is way easier for you to practice the movements and become independent in your daily skills. Let me know if you gained something from this video, then please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and also leave your suggestions for any other queries or challenges that you are facing in your daily routine. I will be glad to address this on this channel. We'll meet again soon.